Our coverage of Computex 2024 is brought to you by Alison and Hirsch. The links are right there in the description. Come on, it's not that hard to click on. A brand new type of memory is being pushed on us whether we like it or not. And it's being pushed hard, like it's the best thing since sliced bread and the second coming of Gordon Moore. Obviously I'm talking about Cam 2, which is mostly being marketed by MSI right now. And at Computex, I managed to go hands-on with this brand new standard. So let's go into why this may or may not be in your next PC. Starting off with, well, why bother? I mean, the current DIMMs we use are good enough, right? Well, true, but they can always be better. Not only is Cam 2 more compact, given how it sits right on the motherboard, but because of the brand new interface used by it, MSI claims that this reduces the overall memory latency by over a third. Though, of course, we have to test this ourselves when it actually comes out. If they finally answer my emails, that is. But it's not just about latency, it's also about what cooling potential it has. Because, yes, we're getting to that point where our memory actually needs some beefy cooling. And sure, while there have been some attempts at making decent cooling solutions in a standard dim form factor, Camtoon will allow for so many more, and MSI actually even showed off a water block sample at the event. Yes, water cooled RAM is actually coming, thanks to Cam2. I'm actually not sure if I'm happy about it or not, that just seems crazy. I also prodded MSI about where you'll be able to get these modules from, and from what I gather, the only part that it got on board right now for the launch of this thing is Kingston. As for what platforms, well, they already showed off a Z790 Intel mobile boards at the show, with next-gen Z890 mobile boards planned as well, for when next-generation Intel Arrow Lake CPUs launch later this year. However, they were very coy about mentioning anything in terms of AMD support at this point, which is kind of strange. I mean, the two are kind of neck and neck, yet still, as always pretty much, it's Intel that gets all the fun features first, and then us Team Red plebs after that. And I guess we'll end up with the last laugh when they have all the early adopter pains to deal with. So what do you think of the standard and are you on board with it? Let me know down in the comments below. And while they're here, maybe you should check out our Patreon because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way in making our recent trip to Computex that's slightly bit less financially ruinous. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Ronyak, Dev Panda, Bardish Velka, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shin Allcroft, Lensby, Level Up and Robert Sanders. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you or in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye. Allo Simon Hush allow you to continue using your phone completely hassle-free overseas at super competitive prices. Make sure to check out the links below for more info.